Welcome to this public meeting of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Um, welcome, uh, Commissioner Trumka, who's for the first uh, decisional, and it will be the first uh, decisional meeting for myself as well. Um, but, but before we get started with the business of the day, I just wanted to acknowledge some communities impacted by the tornadoes that devastated multiple states this weekend and say that we have you in our thoughts. Uh, I also want to take the opportunity to remind people facing power losses, to be safe when using portable generators and heating their homes. Uh, we've seen too much suffering this week. But please be safe. Protect yourselves from carbon monoxide poisoning and fires. And always keep generators outside at least 20 feet away from your home. And never use charcoal in your house. Uh, the CPSC has many other safety tips for keeping safe in these times, and I urge everyone to be careful. So moving to the business of the day, we have two subjects with a total of three decisional items on the agenda this morning. Decisional items are a draft notice of proposed rulemaking on safety standards for magnets, a draft notice of proposed rulemaking under 50, Section 15J of the Consumer Product Safety Act, deem that no coverings that do not meet the requirements of the existing ANSI standard present a substantial product hazard, and a draft a notice of proposed rulemaking under Section 7 and 9 of uh, CPSA to establish the safety standard for operating cores for custom window coverings. Uh, we will begin with the uh, notice of proposed rulemaking for magnet safety and start with questions for staff if there are any. We have several staff members present in the event that there are questions. With us are uh, Mary Boyle, the Executive Director, uh, Dwayne Ray, Deputy Assistant Executive Director, Dwayne Boniface, um, Austin Schlick, General Counsel, Alberta Mills, our uh, Secretary. Uh, in addition, for this NPR, we have uh, Steen, uh, excuse me, Stephen Harshani from the Division of Human Factors and Meredith Kelsch of the Office of General Counsel, who recently briefed the Commission on this proposal. Each Commissioner will have five minutes. After the questions are complete, we'll consider amendments. Once again, we remind everybody that while this uh, was fine to voice your personal opinions on legal issues, it's not appropriate to discuss any legal advice given to us by the Office of General Counsel outside of the executive session. Uh, legal advice uh, should remain confidential. So going to the uh, questions for staff, or like bank staff for all the hard work, um, and I have no questions at this point in time. Um, Commissioner Biacco? I think you're. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that this is really terrific um, to share this uh, decisional with my new colleagues. Um, I'm delighted that we have the panel that we have, and I look forward to having our fifth commissioner and a full complement. Um, as for the substance for today, I actually have no questions. Uh, thank you, Commissioner. I agree. I look forward to having our fifth as well. Commissioner Feldman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have no questions. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Kmunka. Thank you. I'll, I'll finish a clean sweep here. No questions. Uh, given that that is half excused for now, and we move to consideration of the package. Um, before putting the matter as proposed uh, by staff to a vote, um, I'll entertain any, moment, uh, any amendments to the motion that commissioners may propose. Uh, I do not have any amendments. Um, Commissioner Biacco, do you have any amendments? No amendments, thank you. Commissioner Feldman, do you have any amendments? I do not, thank you. Commissioner Trumka, do you have any amendments? I do. Um, so as drafted, if the final rule is promulgated, it wouldn't go into effect for 180 days. And that's the longest delay the statute allows without special justification. Uh, and here I don't see any grounds for delaying the effective date of this rule. Uh, it's it's a, a product category that already had a mandatory rule that the uh, manufacturers had to comply with. In, in general, view any unreasonable delay in the effective date of a final rule as a failure to protect people from a known danger. So I've submitted an amendment that would make the final rule effective 30 days after promulgation. Uh, this, thank you, Commissioner Trump. Uh, somebody should second the amendment does anybody second the amendment i'll, I'll second. second thank you uh commissioner biacco uh having heard a second we're going to now move to consideration of commissioner Trumka's amendment 
Um, other commissioners uh, can ask any questions they have or make any comments with respect to them. And um, then we'll come back to Commissioner Trumpke at the end. I know that you, Commissioner Trumpke, you laid out the basis of the amendment. Um, you can have three minutes, but uh, I think you probably were pretty uh, uh, eloquent in laying out the, the reasoning for the amendment, but I defer to you if you want the three minutes. Nope, I'll start. Thank you. Great. Uh, then, as I said, each commissioner is going to have five uh, minutes uh, to ask you questions. We can have multiple rounds if necessary. And so I will start by recognizing myself for five minutes to, to thank you for proposing this amendment and for raising the important questions about our historical uh, practices with respect to rulemakings. Um, you, you question whether or not we should default to the longest possible deadline for implementation of a rule um, that is intended to protect children from a dangerous hazard. Um, you know, I appreciate your attention to this, and I agree we should consider you know, whether there should be a shorter implementation, really the shortest implementation uh, period that's practicable. Um, if there's a sound reason to extend the time frame, we can consider it, but our primary focus should be on the safety and protection of consumers. So I'll, I'll support this amendment. I urge my colleagues to do the same, and I'm going to yield back the range of my time. Uh, Commissioner Biacco. Thank you. Um, I don't have any questions on the amendment. I will say, and I joked about this um, earlier in the week, that one of the first things I raised as a, a new commissioner was to shorten the time period because it seems like it takes CPSC a long time to do things that need to be done. Um, so in this particular instance, I do think that there's no more time uh, to waste on this. Uh, this is this is a safety issue. It's been around way too long. And for that reason, I will support this particular amendment. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Feldman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I too look forward to supporting this amendment and uh, appreciate the, uh, the, the uh, attention and thoughtful approach that my new colleague is uh, bringing to the commission. Uh, Rich, we're glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, Commissioner Trump, that seems an auspicious start for you. Uh, do you have anything further you want to say on the amendment? No, I'll keep my mouth shut, you know, right there. Uh, with that, let's move to a vote on the amendment. Uh, Commissioner Biacco. Uh, I vote yes. Commissioner Feldman. I vote yes. Commissioner Trump, I vote yes. And I vote yes. It's all the I, eyes are four and the nays are zero. The, amend, uh, the amendment is adopted. Uh, are there any additional amendments? Hearing no additional amendments, uh, I move to approve the staff's draft notice of proposed uh, rulemaking with respect to magna safety as, a, so, with, uh, as amended and direct. Uh, publication the same in the Federal Register. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Um, now that we have a second, we can move to a vote. Commissioner Biacco, how do you vote? I vote yes. Commissioner Feldman? I vote yes. Commissioner Trumka? I vote yes. And I vote yes as well. So the yeses are four and the yeses are zero. Uh, the motion to approve the staff's draft Proposed rulemaking as amended for magna safety passes. Um, the draft notes proposed for rulemaking as amended has been approved and shall be published in the Federal Register. Uh, now let's move on to the next set of packages for consideration. Two rules that together will ensure that when recovery is sold to consumers, the United contain hazardous cords. I uh, will start with the Notice of proposed rulemaking under Section 15J of the Consumer Product Safety Act to keep window coverings that do not meet the requ uh, requirement of the existing voluntary safety standard present a substantial uh, product hazard. Um, again, we're going to start with questions for the staff if there are any. And uh, as did before, we have the same staff who are available for um, have run abolishing. Uh, Singa from the Division of Human Factors and Mary House from the Office of General Counsel who recently briefed the commission. Each commissioner will have five minutes uh, for questions. After the questions are complete, we will move to consider the notice of proposed rulemaking. Um, at this point in time, I have no questions for the staff, but I do thank them for their hard work on this. 
Uh, Commissioner Biacco. No questions. And likewise, I thank you all for uh, 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 your work on this. It was very thorough and I appreciate that. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Feldman. Uh, echoing those sentiments, it's clear that a lot of uh, thought and work went into this proposal. Uh, thanks everybody for, for their hard work and dedication. I, I have no questions. Commissioner, Commissioner Trumka. Uh, no questions and uh, I'll also thank you for the very hard work. So having no questions, uh, staff is excused for now. We'll move to consideration of the package. Before putting the matter as proposed by staff to vote, I want to entertain any amendments to the motion that the, uh, the commission may propose. Uh, I don't have any amendments. Commissioner Biacco, any amendments? No. Commissioner Feldman? I do not. Commissioner Tomka? Uh, just a question of clarity. Is this just for the 15J or, or for custom as well? This is just for the 15J. Uh, no amendments. Um, having no amendments to this proposal, I move to approve the staff's draft notice of proposed rulemaking and to direct publication of the same in the Federal Register. Is there a second? Second. Second. Thank you. We have a second and can move to the votes. Uh, Commissioner Biacco, how do you vote? I vote yes. Commissioner Feldman? I vote yes. Commissioner Tromka? I vote yes. And I vote yes as well. So the yeses are four, the noes are zero. The motion to approve the staff's uh, draft notice of proposed rulemaking under section 15J of the CPSA for window covering safety uh, passes. The draft notice of proposed rulemaking has been approved and shall be published in the Federal Register. Uh, now moving to the final item. Consideration of the notice proposed making on safety of custom window coverings. Once again, we'll begin with questions from the staff if there are any. Um, everybody has five minutes. Um, and after questions are complete, we'll move to consideration of the notice proposed rulemaking. Um, I have no questions for staff. Commissioner Biacco, do you? No, I do not. Thank you. Commissioner Feldman? I don't either. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Trumka. I have none. Thanks. Great. Um, hearing no further, uh, hearing no questions for the staff, staff is excused. Um, and we'll move to consideration of the package. Thank you. Um, before putting the matters proposed to a vote, I will now entertain any amendments to the motion that the commissioners may propose. I don't have any amendments. Uh, Commissioner Biacco? No amendments. Commissioner Feldman? None from me, thanks. Commissioner Trumka? Uh, I have one. Um, as drafted, uh, the, the. I'm going to just do the, the procedural quick roll. Um, Commissioner Trumka, I recognize you for your amendment. I will ask you to describe your amendment for up to three minutes. And then after the conclusion, I will ask for a second. Uh, Commissioner Trumka, uh, please describe your amendment. Uh, thank you. Sorry for jumping the gun there. Um, so as drafted, the custom window covering rule would not go into effect for two years after promulgation. And as, as I mentioned before, the statute requires the final rule go into effect between 30 and 180 days from promulgation. We can only go outside of that statutory range if good cause is shown. And I think to delay a rule for two years would take extraordinary circumstances that are not present here. I'm not aware of any good cause to depart from the statutory range, so I've submitted two amendments. I said one earlier, but there's there's uh, two on the same topic. The first would move the effective date into our statutory range, making the final rule effective 180 days after promulgation. The second would add a request for comment on the appropriate effective date. So um, let us take the amendments one at a time then um so that we know that we're, what we're voting on and discussing so let's start with the moving it to 180 days amendment um and then we can go to the second one just to, just to make sure that everybody's clear on what they're voting on um with respect to the 180 days um uh do we have a second second well uh commissioner Feldman? 
Um, I have a second. We'll move to consideration of Commissioner Tronka's amendment. Um, uh, the commissioners will have five minutes to ask questions of, uh, well, for each will have five minutes to uh, ask questions of Commissioner Tromka. Um, we can have multiple rounds if necessary. Um, and that I recognize uh, myself for five minutes. Um, and again, once again, thank you for offering the amendment. I think you know, the package briefing calls for two year implementation timeline for a rule that um, sort of simply brings one part of the industry in compliance for the standard that the industry set for itself. Your amendment um, uh, shortens that to the 180 days, which is generally the time frame that we uh, look at, the, the, the high end of the time frame that we look at, it's between 30 and 180 days. Um, I think that is, uh, as I said before, in the focus of the commission um, should be prioritizing protecting consumers um, and establishing a timeline that is as short as practical to make sure that consumers are protected. Um, I think I look forward to uh, I'm supportive of keeping us within that time frame, and then I look forward to seeing what the comments are so we can figure out how to make sure that we set the, the right final rule. So uh, I'm supportive of this amendment. Um, and with that, I'm going to yield back the remainder of my time and move to Commissioner Biaco. I believe Thank you're muted. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, un I'm unmuted now. Um, sorry about that. Um, I think there are many times that there are justifications for making uh, the time period to address uh, these issues longer. In this instance, however, this issue has been around long before I got to the CPSC, and I mean years before I got to the CPSC. And for that reason, I think it's time to move on and I support the amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Bianco. Commissioner Feldman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and thank you, Commissioner Trumka, for uh, for offering this amendment. Um, the, the one comment that I would make, uh, I, I don't know what the right length of, of an effective date is. I, I, I don't recall uh, another NPR or, or, or regulation that we promulgated that, that has had this long of, a, of, a, uh, of an effective date, two years to come into compliance. Uh, that said, uh, I'm looking forward to supporting this amendment uh, because I'm interested in seeing what, what, what comments it solicits. If, if, if there are compelling reasons uh, to lengthen uh, the, the, the effective date beyond 180 days, uh, then we should pay attention to those comments and, and, and make a decision when it comes to a final rule. And likewise, if there are compelling reasons to, to truncate the, uh, the, the time period um, you know, down to our minimum of, of, of 30 or anywhere in, in between as the statute contemplates, uh, I, I'd be open to hearing those comments as well. I think this opens the discussion and for that reason, I'm, I'm uh, uh, happy to support this amendment and thank everybody uh, and, and Commissioner Trumpka, you especially, for, for offering it. Thank you, Commissioner Feldman. Um, Commissioner Trumpka, I assume as before, you're going to go with what you got so far from the, the different Well, you know what, pretty much. I, I did just want to say thank you for the collaborative approach we've all taken here. And um, I, I also look forward to seeing those comments and, and learning through that as well. So thank you all. Great. Uh, now let's move to a vote on the amendment. Uh, Commissioner Bianco? I vote yes. I'm not controlling my mute button. Somebody else is, so just... <laughs> I... <laughs> Commissioner Feldman? I vote yes. Thank you. Commissioner Trumka? I vote yes. Uh, and I vote yes as well. So there are four yeses, zero noes, and the amendment by Trisha Trumka with respect to shorten the time frame is adopted. Um, now let's turn to the second amendment that you filed, which was uh, asking for comment on the revised time frame. Um, did you have any additional comments that you wanted to, to make? No, uh, that, that one I think ties in with what we were just talking about. We'd, we'd like to hear if there's any justifications for shortening or lengthening from, from where we ended up. Uh, and actually, what I recognize is I probably need a second on that uh, second um, uh, amendment. Thank you, Commissioner Feldman, for seconding that. Um, 
then now we'll go to a round of questions, although um, I think, as you said, it's very closely tied to the first that we just voted on. So I have no questions at this point in time. Commissioner Bianco? None for me. Commissioner Feldman? Uh, this amendment makes sense. Thank you. All right. Uh, Commissioner Trump, anything else to add before we go to a vote? No, thank you. Then let's roll through. Commissioner Bianco, how do you vote? I vote yes. Commissioner Feldman? I vote yes. Uh, Commissioner Trumka? I vote yes. And I vote yes as well. That makes it four yeses, uh, zero noes, and the amendment by Commissioner Trumka is adopted. Uh, are there any other amendments that are I hearing none with the amendments complete? I move to approve the staff's draft notice of proposed rulemaking as amended on the safety of custom window coverings and direct publication of fame in the Federal Register. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Uh, we have a second and can move to the vote. Uh, Commissioner Yako, how do you vote? I vote yes. Uh, Commissioner Feldman? I vote yes. Commissioner Trumka? I vote yes. And I vote yes as well. The yeses are four, the noes are zero. The motion to approve the staff's uh, notice draft of the notice proposal making as amended for custom window coverings passes. The draft public, uh, sorry, the draft notice of proposed rulemaking is approved to be published in the Federal Register. Um, now, uh, moving on, that completes the agenda. So moving on to closing remarks so that each of us will have up to 10 minutes to write closing remarks. So I will claim my time and of course say thank you to all the commissioners and the staff uh, for, it's been a very fast uh, decisional. And I appreciate everybody's been working closely together and having conversations um, to make this, you know, both through the briefings that we had, um, through, you know, you know, preparation beforehand amongst our staffs as well. I greatly appreciate everybody's um, work and collaboration. And uh, given how important these issues are, I think it is good for the American people to for us to move forward so quickly. So uh, first, thank you all to you. And then thanks to the staff, the CPSC as well. And there's been a lot of work over the last month or so for briefings, a variety of packages moving quickly to this decision all to be able to get this out before the end of the year uh, to, to start the process of taking comments on these critical issues. So I do thank the staff very much for all their hard work. And now the packages that we're considering today really are designed to prevent horrific injuries and death from, from seemingly harmless items. Um, if we can achieve final rules, uh, uh, we'll prevent children from being strangled by window cords. We can prevent you know, small children who will put almost anything in their mouths, as well as teenagers from devastating and deadly internal injuries caused by tiny magnets pulling towards uh, one another in their intestines. Um, you know, the data the packages that have been uh, put before us is strong, and I'm proud that we're moving forward on the rulemaking process with respect to the uh, magnets notice of proposed rulemaking. Which builds, a, builds upon a previous rule that was overturned by the courts. Um, it's backed by data that demonstrates that injuries and deaths dropped when the previous rule was in effect and rose again when it was withdrawn. This is a powerful finding that, about the, the value of ma mandatory standards in cases where industry uh, hasn't acted to protect the public. And the two window blind covering rules also say something important about the role of industry. In the voluntary standard process. In the case of the uh, stock with no covering, the voluntary standard is effective or if not found, but we take a comment on the effectiveness, but the proposed rules that are finding it effective and the industry is largely compliant. Um, we will be moving to adopt the, the 15J rule so our inspectors can quickly pull non-compliant window coverings off the shelves. Um, now, however, in the case of Board requirements for window coverings. Um, the proposed rule, looking at uh, a situation where the, the voluntary standards have moved too slowly. 
and the notice of proposed rulemaking will require custom coverings to meet the same standard as the stock window covers. Um, you know, really the risk to children is the same regardless of whether a window covering is sold as stock or custom built and custom slaves can be constructed in the same way as stock. Uh, you know, far too many children have died and been injured as a result of cord strangulations. We have to find a path forward to effectively protect this vulnerable population. You know, I note that the window blind industry is working on to update its voluntary standard for custom blind and ask for, delay, for us to delay the action. And while I hope the voluntary standards practice is, uh, process is successful, we simply, simply can't put our other efforts on hold. At the end of the day, our children have to come first. So I'm glad that we're moving forward with these two uh, proposals. We will take comment from the public uh, and obviously consider all those comments before deciding how to move forward. And you know, in doing that, I urge you know, individual consumers consumer advocacy organizations, industry, and other parties to, to give us all the information that we're gonna to need to make a decision in this rulemaking process. So with that, I yield back my time and turn to Commissioner Bianco. Thank you. Um, I'm really happy that we're moving forward on, on these issues that have been um, in front of us for way too long. Uh, they are important issues that need to be addressed and need to be acted upon. So um, I'm, I'm just thrilled. There are so many issues that this agency needs to address, should be addressing, and we will be able to, to turn our resources to new and other pending matters, um, moving these two forward. And so I, I, for, that, for those reasons, um, I think this is a very good thing. And I thank um, Commissioner Trumpka for raising um, the, uh, sh shorting the time period in his amendments um, on, his, on his first round. Uh, it was a good move and I appreciate that. And so I look forward to um, moving as quickly on, on the many other issues that need our attention. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Feldman. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. So today the CPSC voted to move forward with two NPRs related to uh, window coverings. And this has been an issue that uh, we've had in front of us for some time. So among other things, the first NPR creates uh, additional enforcement mechanism for stock window coverings. Uh, these are uh, products that are already covered by a voluntary standard uh, by, by deeming non-compliant products to present a uh, substantial product hazard. Um, the second NPR would establish a, a mandatory consumer product safety standard for custom window coverings that uh, aren't currently covered by a voluntary standard. Um, while I support moving forward with both NPRs, I'm cautiously optimistic that a voluntary standard uh, for custom uh, window coverings may be established before a final rule is completed, as was the case for uh, stock window coverings. Uh, it is a positive sign that CPSC and other stakeholders have re-engaged in establishing such a standard for custom products. Um, that is something that should have occurred sooner, and I have yet to hear a compelling reason for any of the delays that we've seen. Uh, but incidents involving operating cord strangulations are and remain tragic, and, and, and they've, they've been unresolved for, for just too long. Uh, and that said, absent a voluntary standard that eliminates or uh, adequately reduces the risk of injury and death associated with these custom products, CPSC must move forward to promulgate its own consumer product safety standard. Uh, and that's what we're doing here today. I, I wanna thank staff for their hard work on both of these items. And uh, to, to all my colleagues and Chairman Hunsarek for today's collegial discussion and, and consensus. Uh, thank you all and I, I yield the balance of my time. Thank you, Commissioner Feldman. Uh, Commissioner Trumka. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I think I think it's great that we're moving forward with these two uh, two packages today. Uh, I look forward to seeing the comments that we get back and moving as quickly as we can to address these safety issues. Thank you. Thanks once again to all of my fellow commissioners and to, to the staff. Um, with that, uh, this concludes today's decisional meeting by the uh, Consumer Product Safety Commission, and we are adjourned. Thank you.